Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Jess and in today's vlog we're going to be doing a lot of yard work. I have some flowers that I'm going to be planting today and then I also have a lot of cleaning outside to do. We have weeds to pull, my porch is a hot mess, so that's what we have going on for today. I hope it gives you guys some extreme cleaning motivation to get outside, enjoy the sunshine, but also get some things done. It just makes you feel good. It makes you want to be outside for the summer. I love the outdoors and I'm I'm so excited to finally be able to just sit out here on the rocking chair and enjoy the scenery here around our little house. So let's get to it. So as you can see, we need to clean up the front porch area a little bit and just really get in all of those little nooks and crannies. You can also tell that our grass is not thriving. So we have a lot of burnt areas in our yard. It has just been so hot here that our grass is just completely scorched. And then we also have a lot of overgrown areas. So you can see all of this grass is just covering where the mulch used to be. We also have a lot of weeds to pull. We have plants that have not survived and we need to go ahead and pull those out and replant some fresh flowers. So we have a lot of work to do today. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this video gives you some motivation to get outside and get some yard work done as well. All right, so I'm starting by pulling up these weeds. I don't want to mow them over and spread all the seeds to grow more weeds. So along the fences is where it's the worst. So I'm going to start with there. And then I'm going to pick up Chief's toys. And his poo. And his poo. <laughs> hey, that's fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, so we actually need some weeding gloves, I think. Some of those yeah. are sharp. You think so? I, I got, know. I do. I got callous hands. <laughs> are you going to be the weed puller? So far, I'm winning. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get gloves for this one. Yeah, this one's just a little too sharp. Can't just, can't let Jesse see me go with a glove on after I said I have tough man calloused hands. Okay guys, so Jesse was right. I needed some gloves because those thorns on the weeds were way too big. I thought I could handle it. I couldn't. So I tried my old football gloves and they have little holes in them and they're really thin and I still was getting stuck. So I went and I got some more gloves. Some cheapy ones for me. Those will do. And then I got Jesse some nice cute ones to work on the yard hopefully trying to keep these plants alive and then this little transplanter that's what they called it Jesse thought it was a hoe <laughs> check that one out oh look you got one oh, did you get the weed? Dude, here, ready to help with this one <laughs> get it, get it he's not going to get the root babe oh my god Get it, Chief! Get it, Chief! Oh, honey, that one's sharp. It's not sharp. That one doesn't have little thorns on it? No. Oh! Oh, he just got a mouthful of dirt. Yay! Oh. <laughs> She's 15 weeks old. Oh, she doesn't. Hey! Wanna see the camera? Oh, nope, you can't escape it. So now I'm preparing to plant the flowers that we bought. 
I'm just using the miracle Grow potting mix to fill up these planters with some soil. By the way, these planters are from Lowe's. I thought they were so sweet and I thought they would look so cute on either side of the front door. So we found these gorgeous coral flowers that I thought would add a really nice pop of color to the outside of our house, which is very neutral. So I hope you guys enjoy watching us add some color to our home for the summer and I hope it gives you some inspiration to do so as well. I am also adding sweet potato vines to these planters as well. I think that they are just absolutely beautiful and make for a really nice pop of color. The bright lime green just really draws your eye and I think it's perfect for summer. So I can't wait until these start to cascade down the front. I think it will be absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, we have our sweet girl out here with us and she did really, really well. She actually loves to be outdoors and it just gives her a nice change of scenery. So we enjoyed having her out here with us and I'm really looking forward to the day where she can actually help me plant flowers, although I don't want her to grow up too fast, so I'm not rushing it, but we did have a fun day with her. Next, we had a lot of plants and flowers that didn't survive from last summer, so we had to go through and get all of those dead parts out so that we could plant fresh flowers and just add in some fresh soil. However, there were a couple that we were able to salvage, so you can see that we left those in the pot and we're just gonna plant around them. Ooh, that sand feels good. Mm. So we're just taking a break right now. Eliana started acting tired, so I fed her, and now I'm just getting ready to lay her down for a nap. So Hopefully. She did really well out there, though, and the fan was keeping her cool. So, But it was just, you know, a lot of stimulation, and so we just brought her in for a feeding. And Yeah, she let us bit. know it was time to come in, so we took yeah. a break, mm -hmm. and we're going to go out there and finish up once she is down for a little nap. Mm -hmm. While she's getting her ready, I'm going to go out and spread some cow manure. <laughs> yeah. You get to play with flowers, I get to play with poop. I know. So originally we were looking for a pet friendly fertilizer for our grass because as you guys saw, we have a lot of scorching that happened. Our grass is pretty much burnt in a lot of places. So we wanted to add some fertilizer in on the grass just to help it grow. And underneath all of the grass is sand, mm -hmm. so there's not a lot of nutrients at all. So anyway, we were just going to try to find a fertilizer that would be safe, that we could use both in the front yard and in the backyard, and something that would be safe for Chief to walk on. Um, but we weren't really having any luck, so yeah, Chaz had this great idea to use cow manure <laughs> as fertilizer. And it's an it's like a safe alternative. Yeah, it's so. natural. All right, well I'm gonna get this little one down for a nap and have fun spreading the poop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're finishing up over here, but I wanted to show you guys the reason that we're not planting any flowers right here is because, I don't know if you guys can see, but I had these little vines 
growing out that were kind of cascading down last year and you can see that they're starting to come back a little bit. A lot of them were dead up here at the front, the ones that were hanging over the pot, but you can see that they're starting to come back a little bit. So we want to make sure that those have room to grow and we're not putting anything on top of them because those are really, really beautiful. This is a sweet potato vine. So this is the same color green, like that bright lime green that I absolutely love. So we did add one over here, but these ones, I forget the name of these. I'll try to find it and let you guys know in the description box. But these are gorgeous as well. They are just really beautiful cascading vines. So anyway, that is what it looks like for now. I can definitely update you guys as things start to grow and bloom a little bit more. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys wanna see an updated video like this here a little later on in the summer. So now I'm moving on to the front porch and I'm just starting by sweeping off the entire porch area while Chaz is hosing off the rocking chairs. That way we can start off with a fresh clean slate before we put any decor out or any of our new fresh flowers. So I'm just getting all of the dirt, mulch, bugs, anything that has accumulated off of the porch and I'm just sweeping it out into the yard. Once I'm done sweeping, I'm going to be giving the windows and the front door just a quick wipe down. So for the windows, I am using the Method Glass Cleaner that I get from Grove. And for the front door, I will be using a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and then following it up with the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Spray in the Lilac Scent. Now, honestly, when it comes to the outdoors, I'm not too particular just because things tend to get dirty again so quickly. However, since our front door is white, again, I just wanted to give it a quick wipe down just to make sure that it's nice and fresh and clean before I put out any decor. So I love how the planters turned out. I think they add just a really nice pop of color right up here by the front door. And I think adding a wreath is such a nice touch for any season. So this is one that I've had for a few years. I believe I got it at the at-home store when we lived in South Dakota. And then I just tied this burlap ribbon on it just to add a little something. And then I'm also putting out a welcome mat, which is layered. So I have a black and white Buffalo check rug from Amazon and this hello mat is from Walmart. All right, so I'm taking another break. It's getting hot outside. I think I'm gonna have to put some shorts on. Yeah. So I just finished the porch though, and Daddy and Eliana are spending some time together. So yeah. I don't think we talked about though why we're not mowing the lawn today. So yeah, we were planning on mowing the lawn today and weed whacking and doing all of that. But what happened, babe? We would have start. So it's only what a year old. Start? Oh, the lawn mower. Oh, yeah. yeah. So no lawn mowing today. Yeah. Shucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, actually, we've had that lawnmower, yeah, for only a year. We've only mm -hmm. used it one summer. And, hey, Chief. Chief. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he dropped his phone. But, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. So we dropped it off at... A small engine shop. Yeah. So I haven't, I haven't run it in, like, six or seven months because of winter. So this would, is the first time that the grass is kind of growing. Mm -hmm. and yeah it just didn't start I pulled it like 20 times 
I check the gas, check the oil, but I'm not a, a gearhead, so I just took it somewhere else to have them look at it. Yeah. So maybe next weekend. Yeah, but we talked about that it's probably for the best. That way it'll give the manure kind of time to soak in a little bit and help the grass grow, hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like we showed you guys, we have some burnt patches. So we kind of want to let it grow a little bit more just to make sure that, you know, I don't know. Yeah. But like you were saying earlier, though, when you cut the grass, it fertilizes it because it kind of spreads more grass the seed, grass I guess. clippings, something yeah. Something like that. So anyway, I'm not really sure. It's either like the seeds are released or... Just the dying grass actually releases oh. the mineral. Oh, I'm not, I'm I'm not, not sure. sure. I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right, guys. So we took a lot longer break than I was anticipating. We went over to a friend's house down the street. They just had a their first baby as well. Um, she's only – they had a little girl, and she's only like uh, two weeks and a day old. So we went down and saw, met her for the first time. And, oh, my gosh, it's crazy. Um, I don't really remember how – small Eliana used to be and now uh holding that little baby it's like oh my gosh she's really grown up Eliana's grown so fast so now Chaz is just finishing up for today by pulling up some extra weeds and run on grass is what he called it so once he does that, he is going to fill in the rest of this area with mulch like it originally was when we first moved in. So we still have a lot of work that we didn't get to today, but right now we're just going to try to finish up what we can before it gets dark. So like Chaz told you guys, we went down to our neighbor's house for a little bit and oh my gosh, you guys, I got to hold their little newborn and I think they said what, she's two weeks old now? Yep, two weeks old. Oh, oh my gosh. I just, I can't believe Eliana used to be that small. Like she was so, so tiny and she just seemed so fragile, but she was just the sweetest little thing ever. So, oh my gosh, I just can't believe how much Eliana has grown. So of this little girl but she seems so big compared to the little one that we were visiting so anyway we went and did that and so now it's getting dark it's pretty much Eliana's bedtime so right now I just have her in this sleep sack we usually use the halo sleep sack by the way but this is a different one this is by amazing baby I'll link it down below this one is where the baby can have their arms up at night so we're trying to kind of transition her from a swaddle into being able to sleep through the night with her arms out. So anyway, um, she's also been getting kind of hot during the nighttime, it seems like. So right now she's just in a onesie under here. We usually put her in a sleeper and then the sleep sack swaddle. But for some reason, just this past week, she seems to be getting really sweaty. I don't know if it's because it's summer now. Even though it's not warm in our house, I'm just not really sure. So I just want to make sure that she's not getting overheated. So we're trying this. But yeah, she's about ready for bed, and her hair is getting so long, by the way. Another thing yeah. that we found out is having a baby get overheated increases the risk of SIDS. Yes, which we do not want to do. So that's why we're... No, no. So that's why we're trying some other things. Huh? Yeah. So Chaz is just finishing up some weed pulling now, and then we're just going to kind of finish up. But this is really nice. I love how the porch turned out. Everything is just very simple, but pretty and just perfect for summer. And it really isn't a whole lot for me to have to maintain, which is really good. Right, guys well we didn't get to everything that we were hoping to get to today but that's okay you know sometimes slow living is the best living and you just have to 
go with the flow and, you know, just enjoy life and just not try to do too much, but still be able to get some stuff done. So I really enjoyed today. Chaz and I laughed a lot today. We had a lot of laughs today, babe. Yeah, we did. So we've been cracking up all day for no reason. <laughs> just little things. That's well, been a lot of fun. there is a reason. It's because well, I'm awesomely funny. <laughs> yes, he is awesomely funny. <laughs> we've just been cracking jokes, so... Yeah, you got a funny daddy. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more yard work and when our lawnmower is actually working and just kind of like the things that we do to help our trees kind of survive and just how we maintain those, which I guess I should say how we will start maintaining those. <laughs> But you guys know that this is our real life, and we enjoy sharing it with you guys. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.